What's up everybody, Camero here, and welcome to part 48 of my How to Make a Pokemon Game tutorial series. In this episode, we are going to be looking at title screens. First, we're going to be looking at the default title screen that comes with Pokemon Essentials, and how we can modify that to make that look a little bit better. And then we're going to be installing the ultimate title screens from Luca, Luca SJ, and his universal plugin installer. It is super awesome, and we're definitely going to want to dig into that because it looks great. And then we're going to even look at how we can play video files at the start of our game. If you want to make a custom video intro, it is super possible to do it, and it's actually surprisingly easy. So with that said, let's get into it. So first we're going to look at the basic essentials intro, and that is all determined if you go to your scripts. It's all determined in a little script right here called scene underscore intro. This is basically what defines what gets called for your intro, but don't worry, you actually don't really need to edit this. You can if you want to, but what we're really going to do is actually just make a few small changes in main. On line 21 right here is scene underscore intro dot new, and you'll see right here there's these brackets and then what's called intro one and then splash. What these are are the image files that will play at the very start of your game. So the intro files are part of this list where you can do comma intro two if you want. And I mean, you can name these files anything you want. Like for the sake of organization, you could name them intro one, two, three, four. But if you want, you could just name them like fart. You know, like you could really go crazy. But I've already made an intro one, an intro two, and an intro three. And I'll show you them in a second. They're not very good. but um, And then this image here will be called Splash. And these can all be found in your graphics titles folder. So let's go to our game and let's look at our titles folder. So here's our game. You want to go to graphics, then you want to go to titles. I have a bit extra tiles here because I've already gone and installed Lucas script. But the point still stands. Intro 1 is this. You know, Pokemon Essentials. Doo -doo -doo. If you want, you can, you know, make some different info. Uh, intro 2, I just drew a green little smiley, just for the sake of testing. Intro 3, oh man, this is a great intro, huh? These are basically image files that will play at the very start of your game. Um, and they're all 512 by 384 I think the same goes for Splash. And then here's Splash. So let's go and actually test our game. If you want to test the intro, the best way is to just go and run game.exe. So now we can see our intro. Here's intro 1. Oh, see. We actually didn't save the changes to the game yet. So I've uh, I've gone and modified the script, but I haven't gone and compiled the changes. So what it did was it only played intro one and then went to splash. Cool. And one thing you'll notice too is I got different music to play there. If you go into your audio folder, there'll be in your BGM folder, there'll be a file called title. And I've gone and changed that. So I made a backup of it and this is what it sounds like. This is the default title music that a lot of games that don't set up title screens, you'll hear this. But if you want, you can change it to really any song you want. And I really like the song Accumula Town from Pokemon Black and White. I think it sounds really nice. So I went and made that my title. Yeah, now it sounds so nice. Cool. So you just make that audio file called title and that's all you need. Cool. So if we go back to our graphics folder, go into our titles folder. Um, I've actually made a really stupid other splash. This is this is really great art, let me tell you. Um, so if we make a backup, I already made a backup of the original splash. If we rename this to splash, when we launch our game, that'll be what we see. So let's go launch it. We should see one, two, three, and then our lovely... Okay, there's two. Okay, here's three, and now we should see our lovely... Oh my goodness, now look how professional this game is. Oh my gosh, we can start the game now too? Cool. So that's how you can modify the basic Essentials intro. That one's pretty cool, but you ain't seen nothing yet. There's some really great intros available if you install the Universal Plugin Installer. So let's go over what we need to do for that now. So if you go, this will be in the description also, but basically if you go to LucaSJ's site, Universal Plugin Installer is an amazing tool that he's created that gives you access to a lot of plugins created by fan game developers. And what you need to do is you need to download it and extract it. And once you extract it, you'll put it in the root of your game. So right here is our game folder, and we ha it has its own folder called Universal Plugin Installer. 
and you just need to run the game.exe of Universal Plugin Installer. It takes a little bit to load, but when it's done loading, I will, um, actually, I think it's basically all done. Cool, I'm in. I was about to say I'll cut, but uh, I don't need to cut, look. So it's, it's running off the edge of the recording a little bit, and for that I'm sorry, but essentially, he's created a whole bunch of really awesome scripts, and what we want are the ultimate title screens. What I would recommend you do is just go and explore, and what you're going to need are the scripting utilities from Luca, and then the ultimate title screens. You cannot install ultimate title screens if you don't have scripting utilities first. So get the scripting utilities, then install ultimate title screens, and what it'll do when you install it is just add the script to your game. It's really awesome, it's really nice, it looks great. So once you've installed both of those, you can actually go to your game folder. Let me pull that up. Boink. You can go to your game folder, then go to your scripts. And you should see a whole bunch of, uh, well actually no, not a whole bunch actually. There's just the Luca utilities and then the title screens. But you don't need to make any changes here. Once again, the changes are being made in another script. Scroll right on up and go to your settings script. And then from the top, scroll way down and you will see some good stuff. So if you want to turn them off and you don't want to play any of his ultimate title screens, set it to a value of eight or higher. Basically, if it's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, then it will start running these. But yeah, you can just start messing around with them. Zero, um, you know, is a custom style screen that moves dynamically, fire red, leaf green, heart gold, and soul silver, you know. I really like the sun and moon one, so I'm going to set this to a value of seven. Cool. And then you can change the species for the cry being played. Like, there's a whole lot of awesome stuff that you can go in and, like, customize. And when you install this, it also will add these image files to your titles folder. And that means that you can edit them if you want. So, like, I'll show you the way that the Gen 7 um, title screen looks right now when you just play it. Let me uh, compile the game real quick. But, yeah, there's a whole bunch of settings that you can modify in there, and it's really easy to install and get running. So let me show you how it looks now that we've gone with the Gen 7 um, intro or title screen from Luca. So there's our intro 1, there's our intro 2, there's our intro 3 still. But now, oh my goodness. So essentially this replaces Splash. So this is what your Splash screen will look like now. Isn't that something? Isn't that nice? Oh yes it is. Cool. So yeah. There's a whole bunch of things that you can modify in here. You can set things to true or false. You can change intro scenes. You can change species of things. Like, it's it's just a beaut. You can change the audio files that play if you want. They're all here. Like, if we want, like, I'll show off one more. Like, let's do the X and Y. Boom. It's definitely the best one in Luca's opinion. So, let's save our changes again. Let's compile that and let's get it running. And let's, uh, let's show it off. Cool. And then run game.exe. Oh. We got our intro one, our two, our three. They look like poop. But here's our new splash. Oh. Oh my god. E. Pokemon Essentials. Yes. Nice. So these are all image files that you can edit if you want. If you want to edit the music, if you want to edit the way it all looks, it's all right there available to you in the titles folder. Like, if you want to edit that E that appeared, it's just an image file that you can go in and change if you want. If you want to edit it, it's all there. But yeah, so that's how you get some snazzy looking intros. Um, but you ain't... You, we're not done, okay? So I did mention earlier that we were going to look at how to play video files at the beginning of our game. And um, it's possible to do if you have uh, Shockwave Flash video files. And I'm going to break that down right now. So what you can do is, like, this really only applies to people who are comfortable with video video editing software. Like, if you don't know how to edit a video, please don't make a video intro for your game. But if you are comfortable in editing videos and you want to make a short video, it's super possible to do. So what you need to do is go to your graphics folder. And you'll see I've actually made a new folder. So what you need to do is right-click new folder and make a new folder and call it Flash. And in it, I just have a test intro. Um, it's really crappy. Let's uh, let's take a look at it. This is a test intro. Ooh. It's just me going. This is a test intro. Ooh, but you'll notice that it's a .swf. That's a Shockwave Flash file. And the way that it works is basically I exported 
that video, or I just recorded that video as an MP4 file. And then I ran it through a video converter, um, an online one. This will all be in the description as well. So I called it test intro to MP4. I ran it through this converter. Now I have an SWF file and I named it intro.swf. So now that we've got that in, now we need to get to the actual, uh, the actual hard part. And this has all been done in a, another tutorial that I will link, basically providing scripts. What you need to do is download this file here, or there, uh, there will actually be two files, and you need to put them inside the root folder of your game. So when you download them, I'll just download it again just so I can show you. Download. It's probably going to prompt me to download like Roblox or something. Oh my god, it is. I don't want to download Roblox. What I want to do is get back to the tutorial. Where is it, baby? The essential script. Here we go. There we go. So once you download it, inside of this RAR file will be these two files, the .dll and the OCX. What you need to do is drop those into the root folder of your game. So now we have RM Flash and Flash 10A. Cool. So you drop those into the root folder of your game, and then you need to install these two scripts. What I've done, what I've done is really just copied 100% of this, copied all of it right down to here, and then I went to my game, went to my scripts, and I made two new ones. So I put them right here above main. So if you want to make a new script, you can just do right click insert. But I pasted this first one right here, and I just called it Flash Player. And then I call this one Intro Flash, which is the second script, script, excuse me, from this link. Cool. Call that. And then um, put that into Intro Flash. So now that we've got our two Flash playing scripts, and we've got our Flash files in our game directory, and we've got our Flash video, and this is going to be a hard part also. Like, I'm not going to show you how to edit your own intro, but, you know basically make a video file and save it as a .swf. Um, once we've got all of those in place, we're ready to call our um, Flash intro at the very beginning of the game. And we can do that by going to the main file where we called our intro before. Like, remember where we edited our uh, intro before? If you scroll down a little bit, there'll be a bit here that says scene equals PB call title. You actually want to comment that out. And if you comment it out, you can just leave a hashtag in front of it. And then instead, you're going to want to call scene equals intro flash dot new. So instead of saying PB call title, you do scene equals intro flash dot new. Cool. And now that we've applied that, we can actually save the game. And when we run it, we will see our crappy little video intro. Oh. This is a test intro. Ooh. Oh my God. How professional was that? <laughs> that, that, that was great. And uh, it will even appear when you run game.exe. Let's do that now. This is a test intro. Ooh. So that's pretty cool. You can run video files in your game if you save them as .swfs. So not only can you run them in the intro, you can actually, if you want, you can run them through events when they cover how to do that in the Flash Player script as well. So if you want to run a Flash video at any time, you can run them from a uh, script command in your game. So that's pretty cool, ain't it? That's pretty neat. So yeah, I think that just about covers it. There is a little bit more in this tutorial, like if you want to get rid of the other stuff for your title screen intro, you can edit these scripts to do that. Anywho, thank you very much for watching. I hope you appreciated this video. This will hopefully help you make some really cool title screens for your game. A lot of the problem is going to end up being like the art for your game and making sure you get the proper art. But in terms of implementation, there should be no problems. Like, this should be uh, pretty straightforward. But yeah, thank y'all for watching again. Um, be sure to follow on YouTube. Uh, you know, subscribe on YouTube, sorry. Uh, follow on Twitter and Twitch. And uh, join the Thondaga Discord. And uh, yeah, I hope this video helped you. And I hope it gave you some cool creative ideas for how you can make your own um, title screens for your game. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. And uh, goodbye, guys. Bye-bye now.